welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Some 1,160 persons will now be trained as registered nurses, as the health ministry in collaboration with PAHO WHO and Coursera launched a professional nursing training program. This is a significant increase from the 250 nurses that were being trained yearly. The three-year program will see students from the 10 administrative regions trained using a hybrid approach which allows them to pursue their studies in the comfort of their own homes. Upon completion of the program, the registered nurses are guaranteed jobs. I am very pleased that we have 1,160 persons who got in. Now, originally we had said that we are cutting off at 1,000, but because 160 more met the eligibility requirement, uh, we decided that we are bring them, bringing everybody on board. So we are not leaving anyone who met the eligibility criteria out. Four weeks after tragedy struck at the female dormitory of Madhya Secondary School, psychological and psychiatric support is continuing for those affected by the deadly fire. A team from Mount Sinai is presently in Guyana conducting training with psychologists. They're doing training um, in psychiatric assessments of persons and how to communicate with them, how to talk to them, how to identify different types of um, psychiatric illnesses and so forth. So they're right now doing that training in Georgetown and then they'll go back in and we'll continue to support them. Additionally, telemedicine sites have been established in Karasparu, Chanapau and Maikobi to offer further medical support. To improve the delivery of healthcare services to citizens, the Ministry of Health will roll out a postgraduate education program for nurses. Because without that, we would not be able to lift the standards in some of the areas that we are aiming for. We want to provide speciality services in, in, in uh, in oncology, for example, in cardiovascular surgery, in, uh, there's a whole host of things that we want to do, but we will need specially trained people. Meanwhile, some $830 million was allocated in 2023 to complete the design for the Bartica Hospital and subsequently commence construction. We are right now uh, concluding the arrangements for the regional hospital in Bartica. Before the year comes to an end, we should start that project. Additionally, works in several hinterland health facilities will begin before the year comes to an end. $1 billion was allocated in Budget 2023 to retrofit and upgrade health centers, health posts and other facilities across the country. Minister of Education Priya Manik Chan witnessed the signing of contracts to the tune of $560 million for the construction of St. Mary Secondary School. The modern three-store facility will sport 22 classrooms and six laboratories. The reconstruction of the school is an important step towards the ministry's mandate of providing quality education to all students. This is another step in taking us closer to universal secondary education. So what we want in Guyana is for every child, wherever they live, to be able to access you know, uh, secondary education universally, that means all over Guyana. With the completion of the U.S. $5.2 million state-of-the-art Good Hope Secondary School, the east coast of Damarara has achieved universal secondary education. This will allow 1,000 students who will be housed at the school to receive access to a high-quality level of education. We are well on our way to achieving universal secondary education. But the promise didn't stop there. We said we would give students and children and your children places to sit in the classroom. And we told you we would give them a higher quality education because we know what you want for your children is for them to be better than you are. We know that's what every parent wants. We want our children to be better than we are. We want them to have a life of plenty. Within the last two weeks, parents and guardians from across Region 2, Pomeroon, Supanam, received just over $500 million in their homes through the distribution of the Because We Care cash grant for their children. When we tell you we love you, we make sure all of your children could have all of the textbooks they need in their book bags to go home and study with it or open it on their desk and have the teacher instruct them. 
That is love in action. When we tell you we love you, we make sure all the children in grade six could get breakfast. Guyana is gearing up to host the highly anticipated Caribbean Water and Wastewater Association 32nd Annual Conference and Exhibition, scheduled to take place from October 23rd to 27, 2023. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll expressed government's full commitment to supporting the success of the conference. You have the full support of the government of Guyana. Um, in fact, this, I presented this at Cabinet and so there's an endorsement of us hosting this conference. So you have the full support of the government of Guyana. Having said that, then we would want to use the opportunity as the host um, for, I see there are at least 30 to will be 30 to 40 ministers themselves and then a lot of countries participating with the private sector to, to showcase what we're doing. Minister Crow stressed the crucial role of waste management and emphasized the significance of addressing this issue. This is a new area for everybody per se. And the country obviously is expensive, but if we're talking about a modern country, we're talking about a developed country, then that's, that's where we have to start. Persons living with disabilities now have the opportunity to access training and empowerment programs through the newly commissioned $73 million Learning Lab at Mahaiko. The Learning Lab, the first of its kind in Guyana, boasts recreational space, a kitchen, comfortable dining area, and a dedicated training space. This institution will cater for persons living with diverse disabilities, and so it must be a place and a space that is built to their needs, built to give support, and built in such a way that it is accessible. This brings us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related information, do log on to our website at dpi.gov.gy and our social media platforms as well. Goodbye.